okay so we have the uh, CB1 installed on the uh, Pi adapter and now we want to install the operating system um, the image uh, you can get the image from uh, the uh, Bitry Tech uh, GitHub and there are two images one is a uh, uh, bare bone basically it's the base base of the OS and the other one has already Clipper uh, a bunch of other software installed so I got that one and at this point to, to burn the image on the uh, on the micro SD card you need uh, to download one of the software to do the burning and I got the Raspberry Pi the official one it's called Raspberry Pi Imager or you can get the other one is let me see let me start this called the balena etcher here you can download it just search for balena etcher and basically that's the same thing you burn an os image on the micro sd card so i'll use the raspberry pi you go to choose os all the way down you go to all the way use custom uh, and i downloaded the here the image uh, let me put it here you see I don't know the image here and it's called CB1 Debian both I clipper kernel 116 okay this is from the 29th of September and the version is 2.2 it's around 1 gig okay you open it and then you choose uh, a device where you want to install make sure you, you pick the right device so in my case uh, I said 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card I think it's an overkill but that's okay and you write it all existing make sure that it's clean and you say okay it will ask me okay for my password and you say okay and it's going to take a bit we just wait now uh, so after you do this and uh, you have two options if you connect the, the device with ethernet you're all set once you burn the e image you take the sd card and you put it on the adapter or the manta board instead if you want to enable wi-fi you need to uh, once you burn the image you go back to read the uh, micro sd card and you have to edit a file that is called uh, uh, wpa underscore supplicant.config and inside that file you need to edit uh, the network parameter for SSID and PSK basically you need to use the, your access uh, point SSID and your password you save the file uh, on the SD card you save back up there and you get the SK, SD card and you put it on the adapter with the CV1 or with the mount board with the CV1 and that's it just this difference between Ethernet and uh, Wi Fi. Uh, what else? So, this image has already Clipper installed and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so, once you burn an image, uh, you go back with the, with the micro SD, you install an adapter, and you boot. Uh, basically by turning on the switch on the power supply that I showed you before with the Ethernet cable enabled inserted or the Wi-Fi which you enable depending on what type of connection you want so let's see it will take a bit still let's wait
Okay, so now it's done uh, recording the OS image on the micro SD card, and now it's verifying the uh, the data. Okay, uh, it finished to check it out, uh, you can continue and uh, remove the SD card, okay, so, 
close this. We go to get the card. Take the card and put it in the adapter. Yeah, Pi adapter. Make sure the words is correct. And you turn on the adapter. Okay. There should be a green light that is going to blink. Now, how do I get to this new image and uh, this new operating system I installed on the SD card? Well, you need to figure out which IP address your router will assign to the card. So you have several options. You go to your router and or your access point, whatever, and check it out if there is a list of devices and in that list it should be assigned an IP address to that particular device or you get one of those uh, IP scanner uh, software I use uh, um, a software that is called angry IP scanner and there are several ones this one uh, I'm on a Mac so maybe it's available for Windows still or Linux uh, depending on what, which operating system you're using and you just figure out what you're looking for is the IP address of a host name that is called huracan.local uh, I write it here but huracan.local so you need to find to look for this host name. In my case, this host name has a an IP address of uh, 192. Okay. Now at this point, you wanna SSH into it. So you do SSH, and the username is BQ at the IP address 192.168.3.243 this is the IP address that my router uh, assigned to this device okay you, you enter it's not did I do a mistake yeah okay it takes a bit and password is BQ so B I Q U press enter and you're in so basically you are on on the device you see your can it's based on the bull eye uh, uh, Raspberry Pi image the kernel is one five sixteen and uh, here there are a bunch of stats on the device IP you get the usage of the the city uh, the, the memory card uptime okay CPU temperature memory usage 25% of, of one gigabyte almost okay oh okay so it has one gigabyte and on 512 that's good and uh, just a lower well we don't care so now at this point if you go to the manual i'll put a link in the description the manual of the manda card the adapter there is an instruction how to install the script that will install all the other software so i'm going to and is on chapter 5.5 installing clipper with the key Kia script so basically you get the script and I'm going to get the script here. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, this is the script. Enter. It will clone that Kia script on the device. Okay, and then you want to run it. And to run it, it's pretty simple. You run this command and you get this options so since i have the image with the clipper installed 
is already installed. Now we'll check which version is installed. Also, it's installed the more cracker. Uh, the main the main cell is basically the uh, user interface for uh, the CM4 instead of the CB1. So if you have a, a common module for Raspberry Pi, you can use that. The fluid is now installed. Clipper screen is installed. Telegram we don't care. And you can install Octoprint. So let's do the uh, update to option number two. And now you see that option number two, there are a bunch of options. So let me update the clipper. Select one, and it will do an update of a bunch of stuff of the operating system, libraries. Uh, you can check it here. Uh, it will show you here we'll show you what is going to be updated with dependencies and a bunch of other things okay so this will take a bit um, so be patient after this we'll go to update the other software that I interest if you if you use only clipper and the a particular web interface you, can, you just install or update that or upgrade that and you don't install everything else but I wanted to install as much as I can so I can test uh, different uh, interfaces and different software uh, to see which one is better for me which one uh, which one I like better uh, so a bit. Now it's installing different packages that are required. Most of them see, are installed. Uh, okay. Python, we don't care. Should be okay, cool. Now let's update uh, number two. Again, it's taking a bit. Most of the packages are already installed, so he's all set. Okay. Okay, so uh, number four, you can even update all, but I want to do, check it out. So it's downloaded the fluid uh, interface. Okay, done, 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 successful. Great. I'm not sure why Clipper is still the version 567 when I ask to update it okay we'll check it out what's going on there means we don't care food okay clipper screen since I'm going to have a touch screen that's another video probably number five maybe it needs a reboot or something Okay. Put it right here. Talk about it here. System up upgrade. Okay, let's do. Let's do it. Option number eight. 
Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Now, there is also an option to make your own Clipper uh, GitHub uh, location, repository. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that. If you are interested, you can check out the manual. They explain how to do it. Okay, still doing. Okay, great. Uh, I still didn't understand this. Okay, we'll check it out. Okay, system up to date. Let's go back. B. Okay, so uh, Clipper is installed. Da -da -da. Fluid is incomplete. Telegram doesn't care. Octoprint. Uh, let's do. Not install. Let's do one. Oh, Clipper screen. Okay, octoprint. Okay, clipper screen. Oh, that's the five. I think we. Okay, it's doing it. Something. Okay, since uh, already installed. There are some things that failed, but let's see if we'll check it out with the bug later on. Okay, Python 3.9. Okay. Start to keep the services, okay. Successful. Okay. Octoprint 6. Uh, do you want installation of Octoprint? Yes. Sorry it's taking so long, but I wanted to make sure that everything is covered in this deletion. Okay, library, okay, okay, permission set, and installed. And get an environment, okay. of stuff.
takim pet. It's still stalling. Okay. It's taking some time, huh? going to be a long video this one. Mm. Okay. Okay, done. Fantastic. Okay, now webcam streamer option number nine. Why not? We wanna check it out. The print via camera it's streaming. Which is good. Okay. Let's see if everything goes well. Hopefully. Okay, for now. Let's see. Huh? It's actually building, compounding the runtime. Okay, great. Uh, let's see if everything goes well because some libraries are missing, it will fail. Hopefully, not. 500. Oh, great. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So I installed everything. Now, on the manual, there is a fix to to put in place for the clipper screen. So this one is only needed if you are planning to have a touch screen. So I'll do a B to go back to the main screen. And then on the section 5.7 to fix the clipper screen, it says basically select F function okay great uh, and a custom clipper custom clipper this zero option is to install clipper from your repository so i won't do that usb device auto mount uh, i'm not doing that yet number two is to fix the clip screen complete Okay, that was fast. Go back. 
Telegram fluid is incomplete. Uh, let's see what F4 advance. Uh, then change host name. Okay. Oh, you can change your your host name. So right now the host name was uh, I forget. Uh, oh. oh yeah, host name. Hmm, doesn't let me do it. Uh, IP config. Oh, but because I'm inside the menu, of course. Yeah, I'm not at the shell script. Uh, at the shell, I'm inside the menu. Okay, whatever. Uh, so you can change the host name here. Okay, let's go back. We don't care about it right now. Okay, so let's try sex let's see what is settings chain clipper config folder location set custom clip repository okay allow unstable enable automatic backups okay for now we don't care maybe later on octa install this fluid is incomplete I'm not sure why let's get again update Maybe I need to do a reboot. Here it says that the version is correct. Here too. This guy is not uh, up to date yet. This one is okay. Okay. System today. So there is this issue here, which I'm not sure what is. Maybe I need to reboot. Okay, the, the host name was uh, Urakan. Okay, so you can change this name to whatever you want. You can do it in Linux, in the shell, or you can do it through this script. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, we're all set. Now, we'll quit the script and we'll do a reboot. So we'll check it out as soon as it comes back if this incomplete goes away um, and, and we'll see how's it going okay now next step if if this is the case let me see if uh, it's coming back. Let's see the holidays. Seems okay. We'll go back to the same IP. Most likely I'm going to assign a static IP address. So you know, it's Linux, so you can do whatever you want. It's actually better to assign a static IP, so you don't have to always go to check it out, which is the IP for your board, which doesn't make any sense. So. BQ is the password. Great. Takes a bit. Okay, let's launch the script again and see if everything's okay. It says incomplete. Okay. Let's see. Uh, four. What? We need to uh, choose a different port. Oh, okay. Okay, so since you have two web interfaces, uh, there is a conflict. So when you when you access the the user interface for Clipper, there are different UIs or web interfaces or application, whatever you want to call it. So. You need to have one on HTTP colon slash slash IP address. That means it's on port 80, which is the standard port for HTTP. Now, if you want to have another interface, you need to change the port. So we can pick a port 8080. Okay. So we'll have fluid on port 8080. 
Okay, yes. Strange that it didn't ask when I installed it before. Okay. Anyway, let's go back and see if everything is right. Yeah, now it's installed correctly. Okay, great. So I have, I want to have a moon, moonbreaker, and fluid both at the same time, and a clipper screen. Uh, but I have to remember to put uh, IP address normally to to check this guy and 8080 after the IP address so colon IP address colon 8080 to access the other one it's pretty cool okay so now I'm done with this let's quit here now next step is to compile the firmware that is used by the main board the Manta board how do you do that on chapter 6.2 it will tell you how to compile the firmware so we do cd slash clipper slash okay and we do make menu config okay and appears this page now a bunch of options and the menu tells you to say okay with this guy this option okay it tells you to keep this up uh, this uh, set of option uh, let's check okay so the first one is Estima uh, 32. B1, okay, escape bootloader in megahertz, USB, okay, USB IDs, okay, in GPIO. Okay, you quit out of this with a Q, and now you want to make the firmware you want to compile the firmware how do you do that you just say make and this will build the firmware it will create the config file uh, a bunch of other stuff okay this on chapter uh, 6.2 of the manta board you can check it out so once it's compiled this guy the firmware will have a name called clipper.bin and it's going to be in the output directory so it's compiled on the output okay we'll check it out it's basically the firmware that goes on on the board version okay okay uh. okay done let's see what's there okay let's go to the output folder or directory whatever i'm gonna call and here is the binary so now you cannot install this one directly on the manta board so basically what you need to do is say to rename this I will clip uh, I will uh, keep the original and rename it firmware the bin so I'm making a copy okay let me check one second here I'm doing a correct firmware the bin 
let's see if there firmware okay okay now what you need to do at this point is take this file uh, FTP this file to another micro SD card and that's the card that they you insert in the Manta board different card from the operating system where we are okay because this will contain the firmware for the board now there are a bunch of other options that you need to figure out the serial that's in the configuration you need to figure out that's the in the manual i will do it later but at this point you're basically uh, good to go now let me see if i can reach the let me see if i can reach the let me okay let me reduce this okay one two http 192.168.3.243 okay i don't have anything oh okay i got it there is let me so I'm in the or I can side. So I open HTTP. It gave me an error because it's not it's not secure. That's another option in this shit, but anyway. And I have or I can. So of course I I'm not connected to the Manta board. I'm, I'm inside the adapter. So can access the clipper of course the system error doesn't connect to the it doesn't see the firmware so it doesn't see the uh, motherboard of course you can just already connect the webcam if i had a webcam i could connect to probably via usb now let's see if that 8080 works 8080 there is fluid so you have both option of having fluid and the other interface at the same time which is pretty slick this is one of the option that allows you to be more productive with your board you know maybe you prefer an interface for i don't know for certain features uh, maybe for one print uh, one specific print you need to have one feature i don't know i i need to investigate but i think the option is really good okay that's it i think we are done with this now i will need to install the operating system and uh, we and the other uh, find another sd card for the firmware i think for that one let me see how big is that file that file is super small so a very small one gigabit uh, no one gigabyte uh, micro sd card is enough uh, for the firmware okay and you can copy that file so you ftp this file to your computer and then you copy the, the file to your SD card. Oh, I forget. You need to. Uh, oh, so I rename it. When you install the micro SD card on the Manta board, this name, this file, will be renamed. Uh, let me check. Uh, firmware.cur. So the 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 extension instead of bin will be cur. Okay. Uh, of course, you need to then configure the serial to to you know to to uh, this the motherboard ID to confirm wherever the firmware is updated successfully and that kind of stuff. But 
all the details are on uh, section 6.3 of the Manta manual. So I'll put the link to the manual in the description. And we are all set at this point, okay? So this video was really long, 50 minutes, oh my God. Well, uh, that's it. So we'll install the OS, Clipper, Fluid, bunch of other options. Uh, and we have the CB1 ready to go to be installed on the Manta board. That's next step that we'll do. And we'll burn the firmware and we'll set all the other configurations. And uh, here is the Uracan dashboard. I need to get familiar with this stuff. But the cool part that is I can set another interface. I can check another interface. Hopefully, the, if they have new interfaces, uh, I'm not sure how many there are, but uh, web UI, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hopefully they will allow to be installed on different ports and they don't hard code the port 80. Uh, or maybe the Clipper has a, a, a check for that so that other web UI should ask you to install on different port. Hopefully it's like that. Well, so this, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please put a, a like. Uh, leave a comment if you have any. If, if I did some mistakes or whatever, just please put a comment because this was the, my first time to install Clipper and I will really appreciate it. Put a like and, um, and I'll see you next video. Bye.